morning everybody i hope you well welcome to the channel it's freezing cold and raining here so i'm not going out anywhere today so i've decided to do a product review today's product review is going to be a microwave bacon crisper i bought this from amazon a couple of weeks ago and it cost me two pounds i did have another look today and they're still at two pounds so come on over and we'll have a look here it is I got it from a company called Good to Heat and they do lots of other microwavable stuff as well. So I'm going to have a look at the instructions because I've never used one of these before. It crisps your bacon in three to four minutes. It's more healthier because the fat drains away because of the ridges. It's ideal for defrosting. It's dishwasher safe, top rack only. And the instructions are on the back and it's BPA free and it says there specialist microwave cookware for superb results so we'll have a look at the back and look at the instructions I'll just hold you there for a minute so you can read them yourself as well so I've got to wash it before we use it you can't use like abrasive cleaners on it um, spread the food evenly over the ridge surface and cook on full power for the required time microwave ovens vary in their performance and power rating and all that sort of stuff bacon cooks very quickly in general three to four slices will cook in two to three minutes for crisp bacon cook an additional 30 seconds and of course do not use it in your oven or under your grills because it will just melt so i think the first thing we need to do is give this a wash right i've washed my bacon crisp tray and i've dried it all up i've got my bacon out don't know how many slices of bacon you would be able to get on here and i have never ever used a bacon crisper before especially in the microwave uh, i normally have my bacon done in the frying pan or in the air fryer but i can't use hot pans so I thought this might be a good idea for people that can't use pans, hot pans and struggle. So we're going to see how good this product works. So it says to put it in the microwave to three to four minutes, did it say? And then to do it every 30 seconds, depending how crispy you want it to be. So I'm going to put it in the microwave. We've all seen what a microwave looks like before. So I'm just going to go and pop it in. I just got it wrong just I don't know how many minutes I said but here it is two to three minutes then every 30 seconds depending how crispy you want your bacon you can hear it in the background can't you sizzling sizzling away so when it's been done for two minutes I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you so it's got it's gone off now so let me go and grab it really quick and I will show you so far this is what it looks like so far. I'll just put them there so we can see them properly. That's been on for two minutes. And as you can see, it's collected all the grease and fat down here. That's not very crispy for me. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put it in 30 second blast like it says. So it smells delicious though, it's making me hungry. If you've seen, like, I could get another piece on, but I don't really want to put a raw piece of bacon next to the cooked pieces of bacon. So I'm going to pop it back in for 30 seconds. So far, it's been in for two minutes and an extra 30 seconds. Can you see it's just starting to go a bit crispier? And do you know what? Holding, holding the plate fresh out the microwave, you don't burn yourself, so that's good. I've noticed that. And as you can see, all the fats dribbled to the bottom um it has shriveled my bacon up a bit hasn't it so i'm going to put it in for another 30 seconds <laughs> we're going to see what it looks like after that right it's been in for another 30 seconds so so far it's been two minutes and 60 so you can see it's just started to go crispy i like my bacon crispy but i don't like it overly crisp and they say that the fat it's supposed to dribble to the bottom here. You can collect it at the bottom. But because I've had to put it in for another 30 seconds, all the fat sort of 
dried up as you can see all there so I'm going to leave it to stand for a minute or two because it's going to be roasting hot but I've noticed so far the thing I like about this tray is it's not hot when you take it out of the microwave at all you can just use it with your hands so that's good so I'm going to put my, my bacon on a plate and we're going to have a little try I mean, it's shriveled my bacon up like anything, hasn't it? That's that side. I'll turn it over so you can have a look. It's right crinkled it up. Anyway, I'm going to get a knife and fork. I've got my bacon on a plate and we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to lift you up and then we're going to have a little taste. Uh, I'll have a taste of this one. Mm. It is starting to go crispy. You've got the crispy, but you've got the... I can't explain. It feels like, um... Not plasticky, but... It's very chewy. Very chewy. I prefer mine done in a pan. Or the air fryer. But... When you're struggling with your hands and everything and you can't use hot pans and stuff like that, it's good for that. And it's good for convenience as well if you're in a rush in the morning or, you know, you've got pots and pans everywhere to wash up and you haven't got anything with that. You've just got this to wash up, haven't you? I'm not overly keen on the bacon in the microwave, but each to their own. Um, I don't mind it. If I had to had to use it, I would. So I'm going to do the next test now. I'm going to see how well it washes up because some people have said it doesn't wash up that well. It, it leaves the grease on it. So I'm going to go and wash it up in some hot soapy water and I'll bring you back. Right, I've washed the microwave bacon crisper. My grease came off pretty easily with some hot soapy water. I think as, you long, as long as you do it straight away, you'd be okay but that's like with all grease isn't it if you just leave it for a bit it can be a bit difficult to get it off and remember never use anything to scrub to scrub it with um what do i think of the microwave bacon crisper um it's convenient it's quick there's no mess there's hardly any washing up you know i've got pots and pans everywhere and grease everywhere do i like my bacon cooked in the microwave not really no but if I had to, I would. So for £2, I can't really grumble. You have to let me know, would you buy one? Have you got one? Have you used one before? Would you use one? Or wouldn't you? Or is it just a complete waste of time? But I think I'm going to give this bacon crisper a three and a half, yeah. I'm going to give it a three and a half. More for convenience, because of my hands I'm a bit wary of hot pans and heavy stuff and this wasn't hot when I took it out of the microwave it was nice and, and cool it didn't burn I didn't get any you know accidents or anything like that so I'm going to give it a three and a half you'll have to let me know whether you'd buy one whether you've got one whether you've used one whether you wouldn't use one or whether you think they're a complete waste of time but yes I think I'm going to give it three and a half so thank you all for watching and I, thank you for subscribing and i will see you all later bye